emulation on the Steam Deck is fantastic, but would you like to make it look even better? Look at those beautiful reflective bezels. Well, in this video, we're going to have a look at how to get these up and running on your Steam Deck. You can use them with a multitude of cores. It doesn't have to be arcade. It can be the SNES, the Mega Drive, PC Engine. Take your fancy. <music> Honestly, it really doesn't matter what game you pick. All of them just look so good using this reflective uh, bezel. But uh, let's get into the tutorial. But man, before I did, I just wanted to have a look at New Zealand story. Look how nice it looks. The colors, like this is such a bright and colorful game. And on the side, it just looks so, so nice. But you know what, guys? Without further ado, let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's see how you can get this running on your Steam Deck. I'm going to do it so if you get your steam deck in hand you've got emulation station installed bang you can be you can be up and running in a few minutes let's get into it so in this video we presume that you guys have emu deck installed already if if not then there's plenty of tutorials that show you how to get that up and running but uh, anyway so once you've got emu deck up and running launch any game uh, this one here is a game on the final burn neo core within retroarch so once you once you've got a game up and running press the l3 and the r3 stick which is uh, pushing the two analog sticks down it will take you into the menu within retroarch so the first thing we are going to want to do is go to the menu all the way to the left and then go to online updater once we're here at online updater we want to go to update slang shaders which is a very bottom option just give that a little press and just update your shaders just to make sure you have the latest one uh, in order to get the reflective bezels we want the mega bezels now previously you had to do it uh, all manually but it has been made part of retro arch now so what you want to do is once you've uh, once you've updated the slang uh the slang shaders uh what we want to do is go go over to uh go go back over sorry into quick menu which is on the same part go to quick menu and now let's go uh, to the bottom of the quick menu second from the bottom shaders and shaders once we're down on shaders go to load and then once we're on load go to shaders slang once we're on shaders slang there's lots and lots of different options here if you want to see more let me know and i can do different videos but i wanted to show you guys this one because i think this one is very very unique so go over to bezel and once you're in bezel go over to mega bezel once you're in mega bezel head over to preset and then once you're on preset, just go down and the first one after the folder, which is MZ underscore zero smooth ADV glass slang. Now press that. Now give it a moment because um, it takes a, a few seconds before it kicks in. It's quite an intensive and quite a heavy shader. So let's have a look at this now. That's looking really good. But the issue that I find that's presented here is it's still got it at four by three, but the Steam Deck screen is a 16 by 10 screen. So uh, let's go and fix that so we're not wasting any of the screen. So we can have it looking nice, like 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 in the video you saw of uh, Street Fighter at the beginning. So let's go L3, R3 again. Go back into that menu. Press B. Let's go back out. Now let's go into settings. And once we're in settings, go down to video. And then we want to go into scaling. Once we're in scaling, what you want to go to is aspect ratio. Uh, by default, it's on core provided. We want to change that over to okay so i'm using a capture card to capture footage from my steam deck so for me it's 16 by 9 but if you're doing this just on your steam deck if you're following this tutorial and you're running it on your steam deck pick 16 by 10 16 by 10 is what you want for your steam deck okay if you're if you're playing your steam deck like i am externally and you've got it connected to a different screen a 16 by 9 or a different ratio you can use that so i'm going to use 16 by 9 for this video but for the steam deck guys i can't emphasize this enough it's 16 by 10 and uh, once you do 16 by 10 on your steam deck this is the kind of result you get and guys it just looks really really nice like i i really like how this looks you can see the reflection there on the side wherever you go it just it just looks really really nice uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of uh, these shaders there's a whole bunch out there uh, if you want to see more then let me know in the comments below we can definitely definitely have a look at some more but this is definitely one of the good ones out there it's one of the ones that i i like i enjoy and i think it really really does look nice on the steam deck on the steam deck on that small screen well not such a small screen you know we've got eight inches or whatever but it just looks nice having those reflections there so let's have a look at a few more games and like i said in the comments guys if you do like this video comment below let me know and i can get some other shaders 
shaders and some bezel kind of packs and just some things going to kind of make your experience of playing your old and uh, retro games on the Steam Deck somewhat even more enjoyable than they can be, can be um, you know, a little bit different from the vanilla experience. Okay, let's have a look at some more games. Like we said, this is a game called Zero Team USA. This is a great beat up Something that I discovered on your emulation. Never quite played it in the arcade, but look how great it looks with those reflective bezels. Okay, this is a weird beat em up on the Neo Geo called Waku Waku 7. And it's, I find the more colorful a game looks and the more vivid and bright the colors are, the kind of better it looks. I mean, this just looks really, really good. What is there not to like about it? Uh, definitely, definitely try out these mega bezels. And hey, here's a classic Outrun, one of the best racing games out there. Great soundtrack, great game. And I even like Outrun uh, Coast to Coast 2006, but the classic Outrun is still something great that's enjoyable today. And it looks really nice and somewhat a bit confusing if you start looking at the side of the roads it looks like there's another road but uh, yeah try it out run with it and another favorite of mine in the arcade is a game called r-type many liked it again fantastic shmups are difficult but look how nice it looks it looks nice with that dark kind of color you've got the bottom bottom reflection there again i just can't i I can't compliment these shaders enough. Mega bezels are, they're just fantastic. Really, really good to have. And, and guys, like I said, you're not limited to arcade games. I know I really like arcade games. So I ended up doing a lot of arcade games, but you can use these on many of the cores within RetroArch. For example, the Super Nintendo core, the Mega Drive core, Master System, PC Engine. Just try it with any core and see if it works. There might be a few cores it's not compatible with, like maybe some of the newer cores, some of the newer systems, but some of like anything kind of 16 bit and below like not an issue it just works and look how look how nice puzzle bubble looks it just it just looks nice i don't find it too distracting let me know in the comments below if you do find it distracting because maybe the sides are putting you off like i play my game with no issues uh but it just looks really nice and if someone else is having a look at what you're playing again it looks really really nice so if you're playing this wherever public transport around a bunch of friends it just looks really really cool and you don't just have to play this on the Steam Deck. This tutorial is for the Steam Deck, but you can use this on Windows. I've got Windows tutorial on the channel. So guys, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about this. And if you want to see other videos with bezels, shaders, things to kind of heighten your experience of playing this, these retro games on the Steam Deck, then let me know and I'll seek out some packs. I'll experiment with some stuff and uh, we can get some good stuff going. So if you did enjoy this video, then a subscription and a like is super appreciated. I'll see you guys around. This is Pixel. Cherry Ninja out.